Hello, with me I have Huck Seed, four-time bracelet winner, including a main event winner at the World Series of Poker, joining us with our breakout gaming project. Uh, Huck, you got a scholarship to Caltech, but you left. Why? <laughs> well, uh, a lot of people gave me a lot of uh, flack for that because it was such a hard university to get into, such a great mm. place to learn. And uh, I did have good experiences there, but I really fell in love with the game of poker while I was there. I was playing basketball for fun and uh, started playing poker. And I felt I, I was just really excited that I could have that same competitive outlet in a, in a mental game as, as a physical game or you know, sports. You know, I grew up, grew up playing sports, loved competing, and then I just kind of fell in love with uh, the, uh, the science behind poker and the pseudoscience psychology and everything mixed together and the competitive, the competitive spirit that uh, you know, a lot of the people like you, when I first got in the game, I was very young and uh, people like you and Chip Reese and different super competitive uh, poker players that helped me fall in love with the game. Great, great. We uh, approached you two years ago to help us promote this idea. It's been two years in the making and you stuck with us all that time. Why? Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone uh, shoot for the moon like you guys are. This is a really big project. You're trying to do so many things, and you know, with the uh, evolution of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin 2.0 and side chains and smart contracts, you guys are rolling with the times and trying to do that as well. It's such a shoot for the moon project that I, how could I not want to help that? And also, you guys have struggled so much, and people told you you should just drop the project so many times, and you guys have just been said so we're we're gonna go until we drop dead or, and make this happen so <laughs> I really believe you guys are gonna make this happen as diligent as, you, as you've been as inspirational see you guys down and in different situations and just keep plugging and keep plugging and keep plugging so that you know that makes me want to help makes me want to help get other people involved in helping you guys too great you were one of the first people we approached I'll never forget the day that it happened and now, with all the pitfalls we experienced, everything's coming to fruition. The coin is done. The Play Money site, which is a first step, is live. And soon, everything else will be done. Now, you have experience in cryptocurrencies, I know. What do you know about our coin? And tell me the benefits and what you envision our coin to accomplish. Well, I've talked a bit, you know, uh, today with the designer of the coin, James Stroud. Yep. When you say the coin is done, well, it's uh, it's partially done, but he's got big ideas. I talked with him a bit about smart contracts because that's where I really am passionate about this project and seeing uh, the way I see it ending up is uh, if James can. Uh, if James can make smart contracts happen on, on the uh, breakout blockchain, on side chains, uh, then what I would see eventually happening is breakout gaming, which is a poker site, fantasy sports, video games, peer-to-peer -peer betting on anything, prop betting, uh, everything you guys are trying to do to bring everything together to make it like a one-stop, gambling, gaming experience, all running on top of, of the uh, breakout coin, which you know, one, once he finishes the smart contract part of the coin, implements that, and once you guys have gotten the site going and people are excited and people are playing, decentralize it, put it on top of the blockchain, and now you have solved all the problems of inter internet gaming sites. I mean, you look at all the, in the history of, uh, you have Ultimate Poker, you had all those scandals of people putting in super user accounts and cheating. People never quite trusted the sites. You had all the problems of putting money on the site, getting it back off. Once 
this company becomes decentralized on top of the blockchain, you log on to your computer, you have your breakout coin in a wallet, you start connecting to the network, you're playing in a fantasy sports tournament, or let's say you're playing in a, in a cash poker game, right? It's peer-to-peer, -peer. it's happening as you're doing it. You, you sit down at the table, a little of your money goes from your wallet into the table, it's on the table. You get involved in a pot, money goes in, into a, into a, an address on the chain, yeah? Eight people put their money in the pot and it's in, one, it's in one place. You can go to a blockchain explorer and you can see exactly where the money in the pot is. Uh, now you win the pot, it goes right back to your wallet, it's on your computer, you quit. It's already there, you don't have to deal with it. Exactly. You've cut out so many middlemen and uh, you know, to get a good gambling site going, poker, sportsbook, whatever, you need a certain critical mass of players and to get something like that going, you need hundreds of employees and it's such a big project. And if you can take all those employees and cut them out and have it running on top of the blockchain, you've just cut down the cost of everything. And now, you know, you can pretty much, you know, cut the uh, rake and the fees down to almost nothing. I mean, look at, uh, Bit look at Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency uh, if you want to send money to someone in China or Japan, you're in America, you go to Western Union, you send $100 to your family. If you are working hard, you want to send some money to your family, they live, they live in the Philippines. So what is the minimum fee for Western Union, do you know? No. It's $5. Yeah. Or you, it could be, you know, you wire it in a bank, it could be $25 yes. for a wire transfer. And now, if, because you're cutting out the middleman, boom, what is it? five cents to Less. send, it's a few cents. So, I mean, the reason that, uh, you know, poker stars have charges $5 a hand in a poker game, you know, is because all the middlemen, uh, you know, and if you cut all that out, now you can have poker where they rake, less, you know, next to nothing, less than a penny per pot. Uh, or you enter a sp fancy sports tournament, it's a penny to enter, or even less than that, a fraction of a penny. So one of the things I really like about the cryptocurrency movement, which I was getting really excited about when you first contacted me, everything is open source, it's a community of sharing, you build something, people can come in and work on it, build their own, copy yours, and uh, that, you know, people who want to play gamble online, they want to be able to trust the site. But what, once, you know, this becomes decentralized, everything will be open source. All the software, the, That's right. the uh, random number generators, everything. And because of cryptocurrency technology and the cryptography, it doesn't matter if it's open source, everyone can see what's happening, but no one can do anything. So you like the security of the blockchain? Is yeah, what you're, you're, you're merging super security and open the openness of this new community. So you know you're on this site. Oh, it's rigged. Well, no, it's not. You can op go to GitHub and you can look at all the code. You can see exactly what's happening. So That's it right. solves all the problems that internet gambling sites have had. And uh, you know, there obviously there's a lot of other people great minds, big projects happening in, in smart contracts. You know, Ethereum is the leader right now in the smart contracts. They've had a huge amount of brain power and work has gone into creating Ethereum. You know, and, uh, but I talked with James about uh, what he's trying to do and you know, he's got his own idea and his own strategy for implementing these side chains. Uh, you know, what he calls permissive smart contracts or, you know, based on control points rather than uh, bonded validations to verify side chains or shards, you know, as Ethereum does. So it's, you know, it's just another, you know, cutting edge, exciting part of, you know, your giant project, what you're trying to do. We have a coin sale scheduled for June 13th on Bittrex. You're going to be able to buy, you're going to be able to buy the breakout coin 
And shortly, as shor shortly after the coin sale starts, the first coin sale participants, which you were one of them, will get their coins. They will be able to trade, exchange them with each other, but they won't be on exchange yet. Then, after the coin sale is over, the rest of the coins will be delivered. The Play Money site will be up and running for free tournaments. And then we're going to expect to go live on real money within hopefully 60 to 90 days. And that will be it. So it's little by little. When you're shooting for the moon, you've got to take baby steps. <laughs> yeah, we've taken it going. But I'm really excited to, uh, to see you know, people get involved in this project. and. And, uh, you know, because you're taking such a uh, conservative legal stance and everything, you're just going to slowly work your way up. Hopefully by the time something else comes up, you know, it's, it's uh, legal to play some of these games in America for, for commodities, cryptocurrencies, money, whatever uh, you want to call it. I remember when I first was introduced to this project. Um, I was asked to see if I can get guys like you involved. And I thought of the marriage between cryptocurrencies and online gaming, and I got shivers up my spine thinking of the possibilities. Right, it's real exciting. Yeah. It's such a good fit, you know, cryptocurrencies and internet gaming. There's already a lot of sites that accept Bitcoin. What was it about cryptocurrencies that got you excited in the beginning or got your mind clicking? The ease of transfer from point A to point B, the cost of transfer from point A to point B, the fact that I could be in the United States with this cryptocurrency and give it to you if you're in China or Bolivia or anywhere. This simply is e mailing an email. It just made total sense when it came down to poker players because they travel all over the world playing poker. They carry their money, which is difficult to get in and out of countries. They have to change their currency from, from dollars to euros or yen or wherever. And the cryptocurrencies eliminate all that. Well, I'm, I, I really believe in the movement and believe in the technology. And for people who out there who don't really know about it, uh, if you want to get involved, obviously do some research on the internet, but you don't have to necessarily go out. Well, we, of course, we want everyone to try to help support this project and buy at this coin sale some breakout coin. But there's also other ways to get involved. You know, in the beginning it was mining, and for this coin it's going to be proof of work, proof of stake. So once you get some, you can make some more, give it to some friends. They can make some more, get people involved. But, uh, the exciting part for me is getting people involved in accepting them as payment. I'm always going to grocery stores, hey, you know, it's really easy to set up a system of accepting cryptocurrencies as yes. payment at a store. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of stores already that are accepting cryptocurrencies. So, uh, personally, I, I love spending them, you know, and it's the ease of it, and it's just, it's just, it's just nice. I mean, so it's going to be really nice to be able to gam gamble, you know, for, I'm real excited to make some prop bets, make some, you know, make some bets uh, in breakout coin. Thank you, Huck. Huck Seed, four-time bracelet winner and world champ, part of breakout gaming. Thank you, sir. Oh.